Hello, welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing my top favorite nude lipsticks and nude lip glosses dedicated to brown girls. I'm half Filipino and I feel like half of the biggest struggle with having a brown or medium skin tone is finding nudes that are flattering. You don't want it to be too light or too dark. You really still want that nice fleshy nude color, but it has to hit just perfect in shade and undertone to where it doesn't wash you out or look too dark. You really want that nice fleshy lippy color and I feel like I've got a lot of good ones to share with you and I truly do think that finding perfect nude lips for brown skin tones is just as hard as finding the right shade of foundation or concealer to really match the undertone of your skin perfectly. So I think you'll be really happy with these because I've got a good array of different uh, shades of nude to share. I'm going to start with the one that I've been speaking about on my channel for years. It's one of the most consistent staples in my makeup collection that I always repurchase. It's Revlon's Brazilian Tan. This is more of a medium toned nude brown and it's got quite a distinguishable amount of peachiness to it which I really like. It's not overly peachy to where it's going to look noticeably, you know, apricot or orange on the lips, but that little bit of peachiness to it really gives it this nice liveliness so that the brown has a good amount of warmth and it does look more fleshy. I also absolutely love the finish and formula of this. It's quite a conditioning formula and because there are oils in the lipstick itself, it's got that really nice shiny finish to it. It does not look like a gloss, but it's definitely that creamy reflective finish to where you don't have to put a gloss on top of it and because of that it's also an extremely comfortable wear it doesn't feel like a lipstick it feels more like a balm and I just absolutely live for Revlon's Brazilian tan so good always gonna be a big fan of that one next here is the one that I'm wearing on my lips today this is Charlotte Tilbury's very Victoria and very Victoria to me on my skin tone pulls more of a taupey mid-toned rosy brown so it's considerably more cool toned than some of my other favorites but I actually really like that because it's not overly red and warm and it just falls right in the middle to where it looks really nice and fleshy without being super noticeable on the lips. I also really adore the finish of this one. It is a matte lipstick but Charlotte Tilbury does mattes so perfectly to where they have more of a satin slip to them so they're extremely comfortable. They don't feel drying on the lips and the shade Berry Victoria is just so good, so perfect. I really can't get enough of this shade and it really became like one of my all time favorites the first time I put it on my lips. I couldn't get enough of it. And I just think it's a really elegant, classy, but like elevated everyday lip color. This is Naked Dare from Maybelline, which is a considerably more almondy, peachy nude compared to Revlon Brazilian Tan. And it still has a good amount of warmth to it, but again, just like that perfect fleshy nude, this is noticeably a little bit lighter on me, but I absolutely love the way Naked Dare in contrast with dark skin, dark hair, dark eyes. It just really makes your eyes pop. And I feel like this is one of those shades when I pair it with a more intense eye look, it really puts all the attention on the eyes and you get this really nice like sultry sexy vibe from this one this one sets down not completely shiny but also not completely matte it really does fall in the middle it's a little bit more shiny than the charlotte tilbury one but i love the formula of this again the maybelline ones again have some really nice moisturizing oils in that formula so it's a very comfortable wear um, i will say though if my lips are noticeably chapped this is one of those shades that you're gonna have to go in and exfoliate your lips because this one's lighter so it does tend to emphasize chapped lips a little bit more than some other ones do but Naked Dare is really like the gold standard in my opinion when it comes to finding that perfect drugstore nude that's like just a touch light but still won't wash you out. So you really get the magic of a little bit of a lighter nude from this shade. All right, this is Belle de Joie from NARS. This is another long time favorite of mine, a staple in my collection, will always forever repurchase. This is a sheer 
glossy glaze lipstick and it's got a really nice fleshy beigey peach tone to it it's got a lot of warmth to it so it's not going to make you look washed out and it's so so beautiful this lipstick paired with a nude lip liner you get this like visibly more like plump kissable looking lip and it's just so beautiful, perfect for every day. But another one that's really nice, like this uh, Maybelline one, because this is slightly lighter and it gives you that like milky looking lip, perfect to pair with more intense eye looks and when you really want all the attention to be on the eyes and you don't want competitive colors going on the face this is such a great one and it's so beautiful again a really nice comfortable wear because it is nourishing like a lip balm and just so beautiful and it won't emphasize any chapped lips because it's got a lot of really beautiful shine to it this is definitely the newest favorite to my top favorite nudes but i've been reaching for it so much since i've gotten it it's the armani lip power in the shade 106 first of all i love this line so much the formulas of these lipsticks are absolutely beautiful they're really slick and moisturizing and there's a lot of great fleshy tones in this line but i love the shade 106 because it is a light brown that pulls a little bit more of a rosy nude still with that nice warmth to the brown shade though so it's not like an oaky cool toned brown it's a really nice warm toned brown and i will say that the coverage on this is nice because it's quite customizable it can be applied really sheer or built up to more coverage if that's what you want and i love the finish it's got a good amount of shine to it and just the way that this formula feels on the lips it just feels ultra elegant because your lips have lasting comfort and these types of lipsticks you know like this one and then the NARS one, I feel like they really do make your lips look bigger because they reflect more light and they have that unique ability to really make your lips look a little bit more full and just kissable. That's the effect that you get from this one. I would say 106 is great for every day because it's gonna give your lips the good amount of color that you want without really completely nuding them out like some of my other favorites. Moving into glosses, I'm gonna start off with Pat McGrath's Faux Real Lust Gloss. This is gorgeous this is a creamy semi sheer beige with an intense pearl and shimmer to it so i say semi i say semi sheer because it can definitely be layered on top of itself to where you get a more full opaque coverage of the lip but it also still lets just a touch of your natural lip color peek out from behind it. And will you look at that shine just reflecting off the back of my hand? This shade is so flattering if you love that ultra juicy, wet looking lip. And if you have a medium skin tone, this is a beautiful creamy beige that will not wash you out. The, this is like the type of color that really you gotta be careful with because they can make you look sickly and they can just be super unflattering on our skin tone. But this one gets the stamp of approval because it is just straight up flattering. Like it's just such a flattering, creamy beige nude. Nabla's Shine Theory Gloss in Champagne Supernova. I love this. I really, like truly love this gloss so much it would probably be in my like top two favorite glosses of all time it is gorgeous champagne supernova is a clear gloss with bronze gold platinum and peach micro sparkles suspended throughout that clear formula so the way this reflects light off the lips is nude it is absolutely incredible i don't think there's a better glitter gloss on the market than this one because it really makes your lips look drenched, juicy, wet, super glossy, and just glitter glosses can really take your look to that next level. You can wear this with intense, smoky, full glam looks, or you can wear it with natural everyday looks, and it's just ultra flattering. It's a really unique take on a nude lip gloss in my opinion because it's like a clear gloss with nude sparkles in it and I just absolutely love it. I think it's super unique. What a beautiful shade. What a beautiful formula. If you have a brown skin tone, I'm sure you know that when you wear glitter glosses, oftentimes they're like borderline just like too frosty and look unflattering. This one 
is beautiful and it will make all the honey caramel tones in your skin really pop and just make your eyes glow it's really special and neutrogena's hydro boost gloss in the shade almond nude has been another long time standing favorite of mine because this is a really beautiful cool toned milky rosy nude in fact i would honestly say i feel like for my skin tone this almost pulls slightly like a milky lavender because it's got that cool undertone to it this is another perfectly formulated semi sheer color so it's not going to completely cover up your lip it'll still let your own lip color peek out from behind it so with that it's going to pull a little bit different on everybody but you still get that really nice milky glossy base with just a touch of color and it's just exceptional like i love these milky glosses they're so beautiful nude sticks lip gloss a in shade six is my preferred nude lip gloss a shade these are again milky semi sheer glosses i really like 06 because it's like a milky plum and i think it's super flattering and a really nice fall gloss shade in my opinion i really like how this one has quite a considerable amount of pigment to the formula so it does provide you with a little bit more color than some of the other glosses do and it still pairs really nicely with other lipsticks but on its own it also is really beautiful if it's just paired with some lip liner and i love how this one also has a plumping property to it so you get a little bit of a tingle and again super shiny finish which we know we all love so this is actually a recent repurchase i love the packaging of the nude sticks ones because it's actually soft touch okay soft touch <laughs> flexible packaging so as you saw you can uh, squeeze out every last drop of the product and that's really nice my last favorite gloss is going to be Burt's Bees lip shine in the shade spontaneity I'm not gonna lie when I saw this on the shelf at I think I purchased it from Walmart but when I saw it I thought that's either going to be one of my new favorite glosses of all time or it's going to make me look dead right in the middle because I love these cool toned milky glosses I think they make your teeth look whiter I think they make your skin look really nice and they just provide your lips with the right amount of nude pigment that your lips aren't completely nuded out but they still look really nice and more of like a blank canvas this is exceptional and it's such a nice shade this is a cool toned super milky chocolate brown so it's actually got a lot of what is seemingly pulling gray on my skin but i say that in the most flattering way that it pulls gray on my skin because i absolutely think that this is such a hidden treasure at the drugstore and really similar to some of my other favorite cool toned milky glosses from higher end brands but I've been reaching for this one a lot the past few months because I think it's so nice. If you are interested in me doing a top nude lip liner video, I'd be happy to do that for you, but that would have to be its own video because I would be talking about way too many. I go down deep with lip liner. I really like to try all the nude lip liners basically is what I'm trying to say but if I had to give you two off the top of my head that I think you would really like let's just go drugstore I'm gonna recommend the LA girl shockwave in gingerbread you've got to get it you've got to try it it is phenomenal and really long wearing and then the other one I would say is NYX nude truffle I've been recommending that for literally years on my channel and I think it's one of the most flattering and just beautiful kind of like warm toned fleshy brown lip pencils both of those are really gorgeous and perfect for overlining if you want that like overlined lip look but other than that that's everything i wanted to mention in this video i really hope you found this helpful and that you enjoyed i thought this would just be like a fun chill relaxing video to do i will list and link all of them down in the description box if you did find this helpful i would love if you could leave me a comment down below and let me know because i would happily turn this into a series and then we can go back and forth and talk about what you want to see more recommendations based on for brown skin tones because i think that could be super helpful i mean i know for me it's like the biggest struggle finding shades that look flattering on me because it can look completely different on our skin tone so i want to be as of much help as i can for all of you so i will see you in my next video i would love it so much if you would subscribe and if you would come follow me on instagram as well that would be super amazing but 
I love you. I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you in my next video. Thank you for watching this one. Bye.